Can left-handed people screw in light bulbs? Or is that forbidden by symmetry? Hello. I'm happy to announce that part two of Mechanics is now out on edX. So you can sign up for it, and you can watch the videos, and do the homework problems, and ask questions in the forum, and everything. I'll put a link to the sign-up page down below. My friend Garov has actually beat me to the first post in the forum, so good job uh, to be quick on that. And I've also heard from Grove, who may be back to answer your questions. So hopefully a lot of people will sign up and we'll learn a lot of physics and maybe we'll even watch Gilmore Girls again. Who knows? Um, keep in mind that the edX platform has changed a bit since the last time I launched a class, at least two years ago. And now if you audit the class, you only have access to the lectures, and in my class, the lecture problems. Those are the little multiple choice that are sprinkled throughout the lectures. But if you want access to the homework and the exam, you need to do the verified track. Now I asked if, you know, since mine is half a class, part two, maybe we could cut the price in half. And they pointed out that my half a class is pretty long, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so we couldn't do that. Although they don't want, you know, financial reasons to keep people from taking these classes if they really want to take them. So I'm also kind of going to put a link to the financial assistance request down there. So, you know, if it's really money is keeping you from being able to take the class, consider, consider looking at that link in that application. Um, another issue is auditors only get temporary access to the classes at this point. So if you audit, you have it just for two months. And I know some people use these classes alongside um, an on-campus class where they would need it for a semester or maybe longer. So I asked if maybe we could relax that and they said, well, let's see how people use it. So I've put a survey near the beginning and asked how do you use the class. So if you're using it alongside some on-campus class, uh, let me know. And if we show a bunch of people are using it that way, maybe we could get that rule relaxed, maybe. Let's see. So in the last time I posted the challenge question was to figure out what do these two things have in common physically? And no one got it. Uh, I think a lot of people know what the thing on the left is, but it seems that the thing on the right was really confusing people. So I'm gonna give you a couple of hints. The thing on the right, the little square, is about this big. It's very small. And we got it from something that everyone has in their house or apartment. Hopefully, I think these are universal. I think all over the world people have these. So came out of a little thing in your house or apartment, really small. And the thing on the right also is actually a very famous physics demo that no one has seen uh, anymore. I think it's, maybe it's an old fashioned demo. In fact, when I made this video of it, it was the first time I'd ever seen one myself. So think about that. And remember what we want in common is something about the physics of the two things. They definitely have something in common. So think about that. If you can solve it, post your answer and you'll get all the glory that comes with it.